kids, it's Miss Katie uh, here with Crafts with Katie. Um, today we are doing a terracotta pot um, gingerbread house. So um, we had kits at the library for you to pick up. Um, so yeah, hopefully you got a kit and you can work along with me as I show you the steps. So, um, you have your pot. So, you can, you can do it two different ways. You can either paint your stuff on your pot first and then do your snow, or you can do your snow first. So, I'm going to show you the snow first. Um, so, the way snow falls is it doesn't just fall in a straight line like that, right? Like you don't see it like on a straight line on trees or on a house. No, snow goes up and down and it kind of drifts and it kind of goes however it wants to go. It just kind of goes all over. So you would do that on your whole top part. Um, leave the top of your pot blank for now. So that way when you're painting, you can hold on to your pot while you're painting it. Because if it's got paint on it, then you can't hold it and you have to wait for it to dry. So you will just do your snow on your pot. You can do your top first. And if you want right now, you can do the bottom as well. The whole bottom part will be the snow that your little gingerbread house sits on. So that's how your snow will go. So once you have that part done and it is dry, um, you can go two different ways. You can just paint on your doors and your windows, or if you want to draw on your doors and your windows so you know where they're gonna be and then paint them, that's totally fine too. So you would just draw however you want a door maybe like a window or something on the back or on the sides or two doors or a whole house of windows. You can make it however you want. So once you do that, you can take any of your colors and make your decorations like how I've done here. You can make yourself a door and there's little windows on the sides. I've gone and decorated with some uh, like pine garland or whatever. Um, so that's always super fun. And then once you have that part done, that's when you get to add the fun stuff. That's when you get to add the candy to your gingerbread house. So I have to <coughs> grab some more paint. Um, in your little kits, um, you guys were given uh, the little paint pots. So you were given yellow, blue, and red. So you guys know, hopefully, or you're going to learn right now that blue and yellow make green for green Christmas trees. And blue and red make purple for candy or ornaments. Um, and then we've got white for snow, yellow and red make orange for candy or lights or ornaments. And then, yeah, if you add white to any of these colors, it's just going to make the same color, just lighter. So yeah, you guys can make all the colors you need for your gingerbread house. So I've got red here. So say on my gingerbread house, I want to make a candy cane. So you would just do your white candy cane part. And now this is going to look a little bit disastrous because my paint isn't quite dry. But you can do your stripes on your candy cane. And there you go. So you guys can put candy canes, lollipops, 
gumdrops, anything you can think of on your little pot. So once your pot is painted and done, like this one, um, in your kits, there was pipe cleaner and bells. So you can either take your pot and set it on your shelf just like this and have it be displayed and however you want. Or because this pot is bigger, so Miss Katie could uh, show you guys just a little bit bigger of what your pot will look like. So your pots in your kit are this size. So they are perfect for hanging on your tree. So you would take your pipe cleaner, take your bell, and you're, there's a little loop on the back. You're gonna loop it through, put your bell all the way in the middle. <laughs> then you can just twist the ends of your pipe cleaner. All the way around. There we go. And your bell goes like that. Down. And then you're going to take this. You're going to slide it through. There's a hole in the lid of your pot. You slide it through. And just like that. You've got a cute little ornament to hang on your tree. Now this one looks a little bit of a disaster because it's not dry and doesn't have a door on it yet, but we will get that one finished up. But this one is my finished one. So I will show you on the back. It's really nice to put your name and the year on it. So then you know how old you were or what Christmas it was when you made it. So when you put it on the tree next year, you'll go, oh, I made that last year. So it is a great little keepsake for you guys. And yeah, I hope you guys have fun with it. There was some extra stuff in your um, bags as well. Some, what would you call it? Confetti, sparklies, sequins, whole bunch of extra stuff like this. And if you wanna put that on your house, you go right ahead, you can put it on the paint, you can put it on with glue, you can stick it on however you want. And then you're done. So yeah, if you guys take pictures, make sure to send them in. We love to see what you guys do and we will talk to you again soon. Bye.